everyone thank you for watching welcome back to my channel in today's video I will be doing a copycat recipe of the Carvel Hocus Pocus limited edition milkshake that treat looks so delicious and if you don't have a Carvel around you or you will make it around to Carvel in the month of October I will be doing a copycat recipe to show you how to enjoy this at home without further ado let's get right into this video so to make this drink all you really need is a few simple ingredients all you need is some vanilla ice cream, some Oreos, whipped cream, and some whole milk, as well as some green food coloring because you notice that they color the ice cream green to make it more spooky. So I'm just going to start off by adding some ice cream and all the goodies into this blender. So first, I'm just going to be taking, let's do like really big scoops of ice cream. I'm just gonna throw that in there. And I had my ice cream out for a little bit just so it was easier to scoop to throw into the blender. And I think I can do like three, maybe four scoops because when I add the milk, it's gonna create even more of a milkshake. Come out. I'm just gonna use top of the blender to get this out. Add a little bit more. You can never go wrong with adding too much ice cream. Next, I will be adding two thirds cup of milk. You can totally change the recipe to fit your needs if you're making a smaller amount or a larger amount. But this, I'm just going to make a standard recipe to fit this cute little hocus pocus glass. Um, I believe it is from Spirit Halloween. Now to add some drops of food coloring. So I did about six drops of green food coloring. Like I said, if you add more ice cream, you can totally add more to make it look very green. I'm just gonna add this in. And I will hit power. I'm just gonna have this on number two. Just wanted that to get blended just a little bit. I am going to now add in my Oreos. I didn't want the Oreos to get stuck to the top, so I just wanted to blend it real quick for a few seconds just to get it all warmed up there. I'm just gonna kind of break these Oreos into some pieces. Into fours, I would say. You can do like three or four Oreos. It's totally up to you if you like the Oreo flavor. I'm going to be adding the lid back on. Okay, and now. Okay, so now that all of this is blended, I will go and take it off. I did unplug it, by the way, and power it off. So I'm just going to throw this into this. This looks delicious. You don't always have to fill your cup, but it is totally up to you. I have the whipped cream to fill the remaining, so I'm just gonna shake this really well. I can move my straw for a quick minute. I don't wanna waste any of this. Put it in there. Oh yeah. I'm gonna stick that in there at the side. Put my cap back on. And I'm going to be using these same sprinkles from my last video. What a coincidence. These are the same sprinkles that I see on the Hocus Pocus drink. So I was so happy about that. Just gonna sprinkle these on. Ah! An eyeball fell. I want that eyeball. I'm just gonna stick that eyeball there. I definitely want to make sure I get the eyeballs because that totally suits Hocus Pocus. Get a lot of these colors in there. Make it look really festive. Okay, I think that's enough. So I'm going to show you guys what this looks like up close before I taste it. So finally, it is now time to taste my little creation. 
that taste so good <clears throat> like I really enjoy this I've never tried the drink from Carvel because I've never gotten time to get up there but I'm pretty sure if I drink it it would taste pretty much like this um, the sweetness from the Oreos just adds. I think three to four Oreos with three to four scoops of ice cream worked perfect. So that is a A plus on that part. And the whipped cream obviously just adds the sweetness and the little cute sprinkles just makes it look so beautiful with a pop of color. And it is so hocus pocus. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little copycat recipe on the Carvel Hocus Pocus drink. I also will be linking a copycat recipe to the Hocus Pocus Carvel drink on my blog so you guys can follow step by step. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and make sure to leave some comments down below if you're going to try it. If you do, please tag me. I would love to see your recreations on all of my yummy little treats. And with all that said, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.